So you'll be hearing a lot more from us over the next four years. There may not be a singular ceremony like this, but you'll see articles and publications and presentations on the output of the great scientists who are going to be using this system over the next four years. And as I mentioned, it's already in production now. I'm happy to see Dr. Omar Gattas in the, in the front row here. Um, uh, Omar is, is a good friend of mine. I still remember when we uh, were recruiting him to come to the University of Texas and he joined the Institute for Computational Engineering and Sciences. And Omar and I got into a conversation about whether or not he should come here, which is really a no-brainer. And I explained that to him and that this was really going to be the leading computational science university of the 21st century in the world. And in fact, you know, part of that was to get Omar here because he helps make it that way. And so with researchers like Omar, we're already conducting very large-scale simulations. This is some images from a code that uh, his team has developed that does a adaptive mesh refinement. That's a very important technique in supercomputing, not just for his work in modeling convection in the Earth's interior, but for many other applications as well. And so Omar's work is actually going to benefit not only his own studies in geosciences, but downstream many fields of science that are using supercomputing resources like those at TAC. Um, well, that was about the early universe and the Big Bang, and it looks pretty dark too, doesn't it? Can you, can you make out the colors in this light? Yep. Okay, good. That's, uh, this is Dr. Volker Brahms' work. He's also a researcher here at the University of Texas at Austin that got early access to the system, and he's doing some, some very innovative work in the uh, origin of the um, galaxies and the creation of the very first galaxies. And so the astrophysicist, to which I'm maybe a little bit partial since my graduate degrees are from the University of Texas at Austin in astronomy, have been early and big users of the system, and they're great for shaking it down. They have the biggest problems of all. They're starting with the universe as their uh, simulation playground, and they've been tremendous in, in helping us test the system and debug it and conducting world-class science along the way. So Ranger will operate for four years. Um, the, the response has been tremendous. We already have over 500 researchers from not only across the nation, but through collaborations from around the world that are accessing Ranger right now. In fact, we have a portal page that's up and running and you can go click on it and you can see that Ranger's in production and you can see that it's doing science, 24-7, 365 almost. Um, so uh, there's plenty more to come and I wanna echo the thanks, uh, in closing, I wanna echo the thanks of everybody that came before me, but uh, really in my own way because we've been the recipients of this tremendous opportunity and responsibility, and it, it really is an, an awesome responsibility and an incredible professional opportunity to, to be here today. First and foremost, I really need to thank the National Science Foundation. Um, they have implemented a visionary strategy for providing a national cyber infrastructure to enable researchers at any institution, regardless of their local facilities, to have access to the most powerful tools and instruments for computational science possible. And as a component of that vision comes this Track 2 program that's deploying these vastly larger HPC systems. We're very proud to have competed for the first one of these systems and, and been awarded it, but this really comes through the National Science Foundation's vision for enabling science in America. Um, obviously, we, we owe a great debt to, to Sun and AMD. Um, we looked over the landscape. We looked at the solicitation requirements. We had to decide on what we thought was the, the best architecture for the right schedule for the national science community to be integrated into the Terra grid. And we were absolutely wowed when we met the Sun team and we saw the design for this system and the aggressive time scale they had. We were particularly wowed when we met people like Andy Bechtelsheim and, and heard the passion with which he talked about this system. It wasn't somebody talking about a, a system that would be deployed in data centers, although the technologies will benefit that. It was another person, a kindred spirit, who was passionate about what the system could do. Um, Andy's even more passionate about the hardware details than we are. He's, he's taught me more than I ever want to know and have promptly forgotten about uh, InfiniBand cables and things like that. But, but suffice it to say, it was an elegant design. It was a, it was a, a fantastic opportunity. We were pleased to partner with them. And, and likewise, advanced micro devices. Um, you know, I, I noted before I came back to the University of Texas for this position, the, the presence of the tremendous technology uh, companies in, uh, in Austin. Sun has a, a big outfit in Austin. AMD has, well, I, I always tell people it's headquartered here. I guess that's not technically true on the mailing address, but, but, but Hector lives here and the C most of the execs live here, so I consider them an Austin company. Um, it's been a, a pleasure to work with them as well, and we were, we were very excited to be the first large-scale deployment of these quad-core uh, Opteron processors. Uh, of course, the Institute for Computational Engineering and Sciences 
has been instrumental in this proposal as well. Omar is serving as one of our co-chief application scientists, and Jim Brown is serving as our chief technologist for this project. So they're going to make sure that we don't just deploy a big system, but the absolute best science gets done out of this system, and that we even enable computer scientists to make sure that they're able to contribute to this ongoing process and use this as a platform for innovative computer science research that helps drive the applications community's uh, results forward. Um, of course, Arizona State and Cornell University, uh, the directors of those uh, centers, uh, Dan Stanzione and Dave Lifka, uh, Dan Atkins already thanked them, but they're personal friends of mine, and I was very pleased to be able to, to work with them on this project. And really, the fun times are beginning. They've been begging to help us throughout the deployment, but that's the part that really has to be done locally. The fun collaborations really begin now as we work together to figure out how to uh, enable science. And, and finally, the University of Texas at Austin. This is my alma mater, too. And, um, there's something about the University of Texas that gets in you. Um, you, you. You end up wanting to come back, and it ends up becoming an easy choice if you, get a, if you get a great opportunity to come back here and contribute to making Texas number one in something. And so this really was, in some ways, our national championship. We were happy to compete for this. Uh, we think we wanted a little bit closer than Vince Young scurrying across the goal line on the last play of the game. We, we like to think this was a, was a route. We think we did a great job on this, and we're really looking forward to proving it to all of you as you see the science come out of this system over the next four years. So again, thanks for sharing today with us, and I look forward to talking with you uh, in more detail after the ceremony.